Hey everybody, I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com and today I want to share with you this, the City Theatrical DMX Cat. Now, if you're not familiar, the DMX Cat is a device that City Theatrical came out about a year ago, I believe, um, that's a multifunctional test unit for your lighting system. So, what does it do? Well, you simply buy this box from City Theatrical, which is a simple Bluetooth enabled box with a rechargeable battery that plugs into your DMX system via a five pin cable. And you download this app, the City Theatrical DMX Cat app. Now, even if you don't buy this device, you can download the app today and check out a few really cool features. The first cool feature is the dip switch calculator. So you just launch this guy up and you're able to type in the address you want or hit the dip switches to find out what address you have. It's a really great tool. If you're on Android, you can also go ahead and get access to a light meter that uses the internal light meter on your phone or tablet and an RF analyzer that looks at the 2.4 gigahertz range and shows you what's going on. So if you're running some wireless DMX or having troubles with your Wi-Fi, boom, click that on. You can see what other networks are in the area and what channels they're operating on. Now, when you turn on your DMX cat, you can then connect it to the DMX Cat app. And this is where things get really exciting. There's a lot of cool features you can use. Let me show you. So I've turned on my DMX Cat and I'm launching the app. It's found my DMX Cat and now it's connected. There's a number of apps that pop up when you connect the DMX Cat. The first is the DMX Controller. This is a simple DMX control app where you just can go channel by channel within the DMX universe and bring channels up or down, set whatever level you want. The fixture controller, on the other hand, is a really cool app that allows you to go in, select a fixture, set the starting address, and be able to control it with real world parameters, just like you would on a console. Now, benefit to this is whether you're in a shop or on a show, you can quickly plug this guy in grab control of the fixture that you need to work with, and do whatever you need to do. The DMX Tester app allows you to use the included 5 to 5 pin turnaround to test DMX. Now, you can receive with that turnaround or send out DMX, and if you're receiving, you can get all kinds of vital signs about the break time and uh, the specifics of the DMX rate, etc., all within this app. My favorite, the RDM controller, allows you to go ahead and find and control RDM enabled fixtures. So you just open this app up, you connect your RDM enabled fixtures first, and then the DMX cat is gonna find all those fixtures. If you've got them plugged into an opto splitter, make sure it's an RDM enabled opto, and it's gonna find all those fixtures, and then you're gonna be able to go in, see what their address is, identify the fixture, so they start strobing so you can see what fixture it is, change the address, change the profile, look at the temperature sensors, look at errors, reset the fixture. Anything you can do via RDM, you can do in the RDM controller. In addition, say you find a unit with RDM on the DMX Cat app, you want to control it, you can hop right over from there to the fixture controller, and the app is going to fill out all of the info about the starting address, etc. Now that I've kind of given you a brief overview of what this great unit does, I want to share with you some examples that I've used it for on some shows recently. The first thing I did was I had some LED PARs, eight of them. There were, they were Alation 6 PARs that came from 4Wall and I didn't have time nor did the shop to pre-address them before they went on my show. So I simply had the stagehand set them up, told them where to put the units, said hey, order doesn't matter, just get the units in the places and plug them in. And then I unplugged my universe feed out of the back of my console for that universe, plugged it right into the DMX cat, hit RDM, and within about 10 seconds, I was able to see those eight units plus the Mac auras that I also had in the data chain. I was then able to go ahead, change the fixture profile because I wanted to use a different one than 4Wall had set them to, and then I was able to go after that and locate each unit so I could see where they were in my room, all standing at my console. Then I was able to 
change the addresses to what I wanted it to, and then I could literally stand there at my console, you know, close DMX cat, close my patch window on my console once I addressed them all, and I had control of everything, just like that. Another great option is if you're a test technician, you fix stuff in the shop, you need to test fixtures, boom, just plug this cat into your fixture, grab the RDM, or if it doesn't have RDM, just do the fixture controller, set the parameters, and now, instead of having, you know, old school faders, you might have an old school fader board that's really popular, you've now got exact control of, you know, intensity, pan, tilt, gobo. It all shows up in the app, and you can just select it as if you're on a console, all from your phone. It's really handy. So, the big question that might be on your mind is, do I recommend it? Yes, I do. Between the ease of use, great rechargeable battery, charging via micro USB, and this cool little flashlight that comes on it, it's a great unit. I think it's worth the money I paid for it, and so I'm going to link to a few things below for you guys. I'm going to link to City Theatrical's full video on this unit, where they go to the DMX Cat, they show you every function in every app, and go into detail on how they all work. So if you're on the fence about buying it, check out that video. I'm going to show you where you can buy the DMX Cat. It's available through City Theatrical Dealers, and I'm going to link to a place online where you can get it at a great price. And last but not least, I'm going to link to a post on Learn Stage Lighting that's got this video, the transcript, and other additional resources. And if you are brand new to lighting, hop on over to LearnStageLighting.com, and I want to help you. I want to get some guides in your hand, a free guide to help you with your type of lighting. So hop on over there, click the links below or on the side here on YouTube, and thanks for watching.